Well, we're now back live with the men's plate final between the Naked Pandas and the Barefoot Lions, Barefoot Project Lions. Already Barefoot looking to move the ball wide. They have numbers towards the near side. A little bit flat in attack, the offload's good. Pass slightly wayward, but it's still in field. Needing some support on the short side. Well spotted, Nicky. Uh, assistant referee, a toe on the line. So, first chance for the naked pandas. So it's the Pandas captain topping with the line out. looking to break through the middle inside their own half. Just sizing up this defence is Dimlo. Trying to go again and the offloads come through. So looking to go away now through Dugard, Dugard. Finding Fairweather, Fairweather back to Dugard. Dugard now cutting inside, looking for some support. Can he go the whole way? And he's going to coast in for the first score of this game. And the man who will take enormous credit for that, I'm sure, is the captain, Fid Topping. Two lovely dummies right early in the, mid, in the move to create that little bit of uh, space that they've been so lacking thus far in the game. And going in... Uh, the conversion's good too, and uh, all started, as I say, by Fid Topping. So the try scorer, Dagard, with the restart, sends it high to the Ibiza sky. <laughs> Barefoot, trying to go around the outside, grabbing the back of the neck of the shirt, doesn't manage to bring the man down, pass back inside, well he doesn't take that option. A uh, bit of an opportunity gone wayward for Barefoot Project. Oh, yeah, I, all the hard work had been done. The, the, the pass had to go, held on to it. I don't know whether he didn't see him or whether it was just greed. The, the problem with the Barefoot <laughs> Project Lions generally is that they, they've got quite a few um, vets alongside they see the outside break they try to go for it but the legs won't do it anymore <laughs> and, uh, they're at their best where they actually let the ball do the work and uh, that was another classic case of not doing that so they're trailing a 7-0 still when they should be level Marco Wright with the put in at the scrum being shunted backwards Kick forward by Dugard. A great take by the barefoot fullback. Bit of a counter attack on for him now. Breaks around the outside. A little hitch kick comes back inside. And some support. Going backwards at the moment. This naked panda defence putting the pressure on and they've won the ball. Marco right now going 
down the far touchline, checks himself, aimlessly throws the ball back inside. But they've won a penalty. Bit unlucky there, he was penalised for tackling the man without the ball. Ball on the floor, nobody's. And, uh, it's an awkward situation. You don't know whether to try and go in underneath and compete on the floor or whether to actually just take the man out as well. That's a better pass. Really sharp pass there from Duggan. Opened it up for the moment. They haven't managed to capitalize on it totally, but they look as if they're going to now. The man going in, I think it was Theo Davy. Well, Theo Davy definitely got the ball over the line, but we're just stopping here. A little bit of an injury to Phil Duggard. So the conversion to come still from the Theo Davy try. He's worked exceptionally hard all weekend. He's back on his feet. Nothing cynical, just taking a little bit of a knock. And thankfully, he's back on his feet to take the conversion. Good effort, yes, it goes over from the left touch line, so 14-0 to the Naked Pandas. The side, of, I think, said to you, Scott, they didn't expect to win a game. Yeah, they did, so I think this will be a, a big surprise that they're currently leading in this plate final. Degard gets us underway once again. Barefoot needing to find something a little extra at the moment. Perhaps they can here. Big hit coming in. Doesn't quite fully collect the man. I thought he was going to give it the other way for a moment, and uh, I was going to wonder why. But uh, oh, now the clean break. Now you have got to pass it. He has done this game. And a good pass back inside, oh, except he knocked it forward, went for it. Advantage played. Pedro Diogo, the referee, picked up on the fact that uh, it was a knock forward but allowed the advantage, like all good referees do. Scrum down now, two naked pandas. Well, Marco Wright couldn't quite make up his mind which way he wanted to go there and got wrapped up by barefoot. Another chance. A good chance out there on the right wing, but the, uh, the final pass not going to hand. They're just a little bit profligate with their passing. Well, let's see if Wright can ignite his team here from the base of the scrum. Good lofted pass out to Duggan. The ball moves wide through. Panahan's just being nudged into touch. Looked like he was going to skate away, but barefoot Project Lions now taking the quick line out. Yeah, almost counterproductive. They've got a bit of time and space now to turn it into something, but for a moment they were taking the quick one and uh, there were more naked pandas there than there were barefoot lions. They got the penalty. Trying to pick an option, really great line. Need some support at the breakdown and they found it. So space in the middle here if he can 
find his run. Great pass out the back. Needs some support. Again, the offload not quite there. Spilled onto the deck. We've all learned these backhand offloads. <laughs> and the trouble is they're more difficult. You're throwing them blind. You've got to throw them sympathetically. If it comes out like a rocket, you're not giving the receiver much of a chance. Well, the first time in this game we've really seen barefoot project lines close towards the naked panda line and this line out a prime opportunity for them to close the gap. It's a bit of a flap at the end but it went straight to hand so it's a good one. But you see they haven't created anything. This ball has just come sideways and backwards. No space at the moment. Now can he get in? There's a great tackle by Sam Pearson and the ball's been stolen now kicked away by the pandas. The chase is on. Barefoot needs some support, they're going backwards still. Managed to get the ball away from the defensive panda line. Much better continuity from Barefoot Project Lions at the moment and they sense a gap in midfield. Whoop. Tripping over a speed bump perhaps in the pitch. Well he's got back to his feet and it looks as if he's going to go away. And this is going to be the first score for the Barefoot Project Lions. Successful conversion as well. Once all the pass is sticking and uh, eventually, as will always happen, especially on a, a tennis side game, it opened up for them. So right on the stroke of half time, the score that brings Barefoot, Lion, uh, Barefoot Project Lions back into the game, Naked Pandas lead 14-7. Well, we're back underway with the second half of this men's plate final. Great from the restart. Gone straight into touch, so it'll be a free kick on halfway to the Barefoot Project Lions. Try on the cusp of half time. Put the Barefoot boys back in contention. The ball now just being knocked backwards in a panda attack. Things cracked to the ground is Dimlo. Really working hard to move the ball upfield through the ball. Just managed to get the ball away. There's Marco Wright. Chip over the top. 
Can he collect it? And he has done. Manages to get the offload away. Bit scrappy on the floor. That's the breakdown. Right. Picking out Davy. Davy going into contact but he's shoved backwards. They've got a penalty. So just a stop, just a check on a potential injury. One of the pandas looking in some discomfort on the pitch. Uh, support of the medical team and uh, I think that's his tournament over going home with the scars of battle it'll no longer be sorry it'll no doubt be uh, portrayed in heroic terms by the time he gets back to the UK well the pandas kicked a touch from the penalty Trying to use some territorial advantage to extend their lead. This is of course the men's plate final. Let's see how accurate Topping is with his line out ball. Finds his mark well, Marco Wright shipping the ball out wide into the hands of Dimlow. Another penalty comes. Duggard moving the point of attack. Pearson just being wrapped up on the floor. Oh, not releasing. So barefoot. Well they've been given an extra 10 metres. So an opportunity now for barefoot to perhaps work their way into the naked panda half really good stuff over the ball there from uh, Fid Topping the skipper had help good help from uh, Theo Davey and between them there was nowhere to go well He's not built like a sprinter, but quite prepared to chip and chase his fit topping. Well, that went to hand, more by luck than good judgment. Right, now wide open spaces. He's got a man outside him. They really, really ought to score here. Well, he's gone by himself, and he's going to make it. He wouldn't have been a popular man if he had failed in that, but he's brought them right back into the game. 14-7 becomes 14-12, and a conversion from in front of the post to go. Well, Phil Duggard chasing back really hard there, just couldn't get a whole hand around the eventual try scorer to bring him down. Successful conversion, so it's all square here. Naked Panda, who had a 14-point lead early on in the first half, now back level pegging. Here we are. Had men on his inside, lots of support. Actually did very well because he did show inside, dragged the man in that way a little bit first time, and then had the gas to go round the outside. Effort project lines getting us back underway and they've caught the restart well spilled the ball in the offload oh well it's an interception so this is going 
side to side at the moment. They have numbers, but perhaps not the speedsters they so need. Well, forward pass and it's been knocked on. What a pity. Big chance to suddenly change the whole shape of the game. Thank you, Pandas. Quite fortunate there. As we come into the final quarter of this men's plate final. Well, the barefoot project hooker every other time he's had the ball has taken men on and tried to go himself that time he went for the pass and uh, almost went to hand but this <laughs> excellent Phil Duggard realizing he hadn't got the legs almost sort of stopped and just waited for support but carries on with the support running and scores gets the ball back just short of the line good player because he his appreciation of uh, the whole situation there he knew he wasn't going to get it but he continued having put the pass away to run good support lines and in the end reap the benefit with the try so naked pandas go into the lead again 1914 with the conversion to come well it's his second try of the game isn't it and it looked like it was going to be an individual solo score, but worked the ball through the team hands well. Oh, and a great kick straight through the middle. That could still be important. 21-14. Well, that could mean that uh, Barefoot Project Lions have got to score twice. We shall see. Not too long left to do it either. Well, Barefoot don't quite manage to collect the restart, but they've picked it up and now moving the ball across the pitch. Bit of a show and go, bringing the ball back inside into one of the big men. Not what you want as a big man see 60 meters of space in front of you oh, the chip was going nowhere it needed to be deeper than that to give any chance of beating the defense that one's got in behind the barefoot project lions well he did very well to bump that man off because if the tackle had been clean They'd have been in trouble. Good stuff. He needs to put it wide. He does. Good pass too. Well, that's asking for trouble. The ball in the air a very long time, and that gives the defence a time to sort of gang tackle you. to touch good defense well done Sam Malkinson well there are calls from the barefoot project lines that it was perhaps high no question it wasn't in the end the referee Pedro Diogo pushing those calls off so good defensive work here by the naked pandas yeah, with the way referees have been refereeing that high tackle, uh, there was a chance there of a penalty always. Uh, Pedro Diogo ruling against it on that occasion. That was bad luck too, that final move. Again, the layoff was just not sympathetic enough. Got to just take a bit of pace off those and pop them in the air. If it had stuck, it was a try. Well, we've seen how powerful this barefoot project line scrum is, and there we go again. Opting to come down the short side. Trying to use some speed. Don't quite have the space at the moment. Cut back inside, looking for the offload. 
No black and white shirts, close enough. Still going wide now. Oh, they're going to go all the way here. Well, that's certainly one of the vets in this side. Showing a great turn of speed. Well, Pedro Diogo doesn't quite like that. Fid topping the captain for the Naked Pandas could be in trouble here. Apologises immediately to the opposition, just desperately trying to stop the score. And uh, Pedro Diogo got to uh, have a discussion with his fellow officials. Sam Topping, Fid Topping, sorry, looking from the way he's standing as if he's waiting for the verdict of doom. Now, what's he going to give? Just the try? He's ju just giving the try. So, an all important conversion at 21 19. We're past the uh, the 20 minute limit what's going on here I oh that's that's where he's saying the try was scored you've got to come out here and take the conversion for a moment I thought he was going to give a penalty at that spot and that we'd miss something but no this here we go death or glory well that's it conversion fails and far from failing to win a match the naked pandas have won the plate competition 21 19 tight game good fun game too two well matched sides and uh, played in good spirit as i say finn topping the captain of the uh, naked pandas there as soon as he had dived in to try and stop that try he knew it was uh, a foolish thing to do it was just out of enthusiasm and apologize profusely everybody friends out there now